Hello and welcome to the Online Reference Collection tutorial. By the end of this video, you'll know what reference materials are and how to find them online. You'll also be able to understand your search results in a reference database and save your entries. First, let's talk about what a reference collection is and why you would use one. Reference materials include dictionaries, atlases, and specialized subject encyclopedias. They're written by people with expertise in a subject and are reviewed for accuracy. They're a good way to find background information about your topic. Encyclopedias are a common type of reference material that you'll consult when doing research. They're a great place to start a research project because they can help you choose and narrow your topic. Encyclopedias can also help your research by providing suggestions for further readings on your subject or helping you determine strong keywords for your searches. To access our online encyclopedias, start on the Seattle Central College Library homepage. You can use the Quick Find box in the middle section of the page by selecting the Encyclopedias tab and then entering your search term in the search box. This will search Gale eBooks, which is a database full of subject encyclopedias. The Encyclopedias link under the Find menu on the left side of the page will give you more options. You can see that there are many tools on this page where you can search for reference materials. If you select a database from this list while off campus, you'll be prompted to log in with your last name and student ID number. Let's explore Gale eBooks. This is the same tool used by the Quick Find box on the home page. This is the advanced search page. Let's begin with the keyword search by entering in our search terms and selecting search. The information on your search results page can help you evaluate which results will be most useful for your topic. You can see in each result the entry title, page count, title of the encyclopedia that this entry is from, and the year it was published. The encyclopedia title can be particularly helpful since it tells you the angle from which this article will approach your topic. If you have too many results to sift through, you can revise your search using the menu on the right to include specific subjects with the subjects filter, types of articles with the document types filter, or certain encyclopedias with the publication title filter. To view an article, click on the title. You can read the entry on the left side of the page. If you decide that this is an article you'd like to use in your research and want to refer to it later, you have a few options in the horizontal toolbar near the top of the page. You can save this to your computer with the download option or send the entry to yourself using the Send To option. The Send To option can email you the article. Or, if you choose to use the Sign In with Microsoft option at the very top right to connect your Seattle College's Office account, you could send articles to your Seattle College's OneDrive. You can also generate a citation by clicking Cite in this toolbar. This will give you MLA and APA citations that you can use in your bibliography. As always, you will need to check the citation to make sure it's correct before using it in your work. Print encyclopedias are also available in the Seattle Central College Library, located behind the Research Help Desk. You can find more information about them through the main library catalog. Now you know what reference materials are, why you would use them, and how to find them online. To learn more or ask questions, contact a librarian in person, by email, by online chat, or by phone. 